conversation when I started was the ukulele. Um, you know, coming from the big island of Hawaii and living in Kalapana, that's all we had was um, ukulele, guitars, and um, no electricity. So I learned the music by just watching my my mom, my dad, uncles, and aunties. They all played music. And the way I learned it, by just watching and remembering the tunings, remembering remember the fingerings, and learn how to play with feelings. So we don't read music, we just play with feelings. So, so what they hear is all, all these feelings coming out of the ukulele or the guitar, whatever we have, we have in the hand. Yeah. I just want to say a big mahalo to Rai Sukuma and his lovely wife Kathy for what they've done for our young people, our Kamali'is. They're the future, they're the stars of tomorrow. But to take a musical instrument, the ukulele, which was introduced to us by our cousin from Portugal, Munta Obrigado, and to make this instrument become universal, but most important, to take this instrument and to show our young people, as well as our kupunas, our old folks, that. This little tiny box could make music. And I learned four strings represent yellow, black, brown, and white, all the races of the world. If you play them one by itself, there is no harmony, no melody. But together, there is harmony, there is melody. So music is a universal language. Festival, we've been able to keep it free in the park for 33 years, and we couldn't do it without the support of all our sponsors, and especially all the volunteers that help us year to year. Among them, all our instructors who volunteer their time on Sunday to come out and to help organize over 800 kids and adults, to get them aligned to, for their special moment on stage. It takes tremendous amount of coordination and time, and I have to really give credit to my wife, Kathy, who is a tremendous organizer and is able to fine tune and detail all the little things that help create a successful festival.
Through the years, I developed uh, my ukulele playing to G, C7, and F. And that's it. But it plays a lot of songs. My father was from Ulupalakua, Maui. He, uh, played, he was a cowboy until he was 16. He spoke fluent Hawaiian. And, um, well, when I first started my career, I made sure I dedicated the Hawaiian cowboy by Saul Bright to my father. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, I became a comedian, and uh, I don't know how come, because I was studying to be a Catholic priest. But many are called and few are chosen. I wasn't chosen. And it's a wonderful instrument. It can be accompanied by singing at any party or any place, at church, at whatever. It's, a, it's just a convenient instrument. It can be carried along wherever you go. It's light. And uh, people just look forward to seeing somebody bring in an ukulele at any kind of party um, or gathering. And so I encourage more people to learn the ukulele. It's also, um, well, I'm Portuguese, so you know we take pride in the fact that the early Portuguese people brought this uh, similar instrument to Hawaii. And uh, the, the Hawaiians adapted it, and it became one of the major instruments in Hawaiian music. Originally uh, founded, made here in Hawaii by a Portuguese immigrant named Daniel Nunes. That was in the 1800s, late 1800s. Those days they had no nylon strings, they had only gut strings, so they had an original tuning. It was for, although it, there are many four string instruments that look similar to the ukulele. And um, so it was tuned in a my dog has fleas, which is very high to me. together it's really it's great because you know the little ones they look they look up to the 
the older generation. It's like my, my own baby, it's like my own child, you know? You just care for it, you play it, you know? You feel the music more, you know, when you play the instrument. Look at that, I just, actually I just got this on Friday. It's Curly Cole. And you can see, this is my name. This is what they call me, Bebe Rai. <laughs> it's kinda cute, because I am the Bebe. <laughs> I want to go back to my little grass shack. In Kalakiko, Hawaii, if I can find Hawaii. it. I want to be with the Kana and Wahinis that I knew long ago. So long ago, I can hear the old guitars of oh, oh, yeah. on that beach at home oh, now, now, now. And I can hear the old Hawaiian What them Hawaiians sing, brother? Oh, come on, my no cool. Be sailing back to Kona. Yeah, yeah they make good Kona coffee there. <laughs> I try to all like this. From Starbucks. Always good to see. Yeah, baby. You tell it me. I'm just a little Hawaiian, an old Sea Island boy, and I'd love to go back to my fish and my boy. I want to go back to a little dry shack. In Calicut, Kauai. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, where the humu, Manukanu, Kauapua. Go swimming by. 